Hello and welcome to this Norris Medical Library online tutorial. This tutorial will cover using the Cite While You Write tool in Microsoft Word on a PC. To follow this tutorial, you need to have set up an EndNote online account, installed the Cite While You Write plugin, and imported citations into your account. If you need help with any of those things, from our website under Popular Resources, go to Subject.Guides, search EndNote, and check out our online video tutorials. Now, switching over to Microsoft Word. If you've installed the Cite While You Write tool, you should see an EndNote tab when you open up Microsoft Word. However, if like me, you don't see anything at the top, you can select the EndNote tab by right-clicking in the ribbon, select Customize the ribbon, and then select the EndNote option and click OK. Now, if the tab shows EndNote X6 or EndNote X7, that's for the software version of EndNote. So you'll want to switch it to the EndNote web version. And to do that, go to Preferences, Application, and then select EndNote Web as your application and click OK. It may prompt you to log in, so you want to enter your login information just like you would if you were logging into the online version. Now your Cite While You Write tool is connected to your EndNote online account, and you can start inserting citations from your library into your document. To do that, you're going to place a cursor in the document at the place where you want the citation to go. I currently have the APA 6 style selected. However, if I wanted to select a different one, I have a huge list of options available. To insert a citation, I have the cursor placed where I want the citation to go, and I click Find Citation. This may be blank, or it may show a list from a previous search. I'm going to type in Vibrio and hit Search. Now it's pulled up the three citations that have Vibrio in them, and I can select the citation that I want by highlighting it and when I click insert, it'll insert the information into the document. Now it may automatically format it, or it may show up as it is here with curly braces. And basically those curly braces are an indication to the software that this is citation information and this is the citation that can go there. Now because we're communicating with the internet, sometimes it needs a little help a reminder to do what it's supposed to do. So I'll go up here and click where it says Update Citations in Bibliography. So now that bit of tagged text is now a properly formatted citation and it's appended the reference to the end of my document. And I can continue to add citations by placing the cursor where I want, clicking Find Citation, and I can even add multiple citations by highlighting one and then pressing Control and clicking a second one and click insert. So now I have two citations in the same place. I want to click update citations again and now I have both of those properly formatted citations and a full reference list. Say I want to actually change my citation style, I can do that as well by going up here to style and I'm going to select another style. Now I want to change it to AMA style. In EndNote, AMA is called JAMA, so I can just type JAMA and it will take me right there. And I select it and click OK. Now it has automatically reformatted my citations so that they're the superscripted numbers and it's renumbered or reordered my citations and placed them in, a proper, in the proper order. Now say I wanted to edit my document and I wanted to move this sentence to the beginning of the paragraph. I can just copy and paste, ensuring that when I do so, I take the superscripts with. Now it hasn't reformatted yet, however, again if I go up here, click Update Citations in Bibliography, it will update those citations and reorder the citations in the reference list. So those are the basics of using the Cite While You Write tool in Microsoft Word on a PC. If you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact the library. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.